Uh, yes, Ujashi, we are live now. You can start the program. Uh, hello, viewers. Welcome to all of you. In the webinar hosted by Sumit sir of Casa Foundation, and uh, today our topic is about IPRs. So the webinar is on IPR and importance in startup, and we will be covering today basic overview, various topics of IPR, including trademark, copyright, patent, industrial design, geographical indications, trade secrets, then the startup and IPR, and why is it so important in today's world to learn about IPR. और हमारे आज के स्पीकर हैं सीएस यश्री दीक्षित आउट ऑफ अहमदाबाद वेलकम यश्री मैम थैंक यू सो मच वेलकम टू वेबिनार हमारे कन्वीनर एंड द फाउंडर ऑफ कासा सुमित सर वेलकम टू यू टू सर थैंक यू यश्री थैंक यू एंड बिफोर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड आई वुड लाइक टू रीड अ ब्रीफ प्रोफाइल ऑफ आर टूडेज स्पीकर सी यश्री दीक्षित she is an associate member of the institute of company secretaries of india apart from that having a qualification in masters of commerce and pursuing doctorate in analysis of corporate governance practices of selected indian companies at gls university ahmedabad she has worked as practicing under secretary at yashri dikshit and associates and dealt with the formation of company secretarial audit ipr related work and other compliance with listed and unlisted companies she has teaching experience in business and corporate laws corporate governance and management at undergraduate postgraduate and professional levels her areas of specializations include corporate laws iprs and corporate governance she is owner of bhavan vidya vihar school halte ahmedabad for last 5 years now and she is also a visiting faculty associated with various renowned colleges like hi college of commerce umia girls college jg commerce college and nirma university She has also taken online lecture under corporate law at the Indian Institute of Corporate Affairs at New Delhi. She has conducted several executive development and training programs for company secretary students at the Institute of Company Secretaries of India. She has conducted various webinars on IPRs and insolvency bankruptcy code with various institutes. She has a MOOC expert faculty member at Gujarat University. She is a woman independent director. this coal alloys limited and past independent women director at rv denims and exports limited and ketan construction limited she has contributed a number of research articles in a national and international journals presented her research work at international conferences in india with that we welcome we would like to again welcome you ma'am on our uh, webinar and uh, not taking much time uh, dear viewers um during uh, this webinar you can uh, post our query or queries uh, on our online platform and we'll try to take it in between or at the end of the webinar as our speaker would like to attend it and uh, moving forward to sumit sir now sir thank few... you um, thank you ajashri for wonderful introduction of our guest speaker c s e s s no sorry yesri So first of all, I would like it's to welcome. It's going to be a lot of confusion today with the moderator mm -hmm. and uh, speaker's name Yashri and Ojasvi. So. Ojasvi, right? Perfect. Uh, so well, welcome uh, Yashri on this uh, Team Casa platform. First time you are here uh, from Ahmedabad. Uh, you are so much experience in the field of this uh, independent director, IPR, and other things. And uh, apart from this, you are independently working. so it is motivational to all of us all of professionals that uh, being a female you can work independently in any field so uh, today's topic is very much important that uh, ipr role of ipr and uh, what are the opportunities available in this area and how we can connect through startups and other activities so uh, dear friends we will learn so many things from yashri today and uh, ojashri will take care all the things so once again welcome uh, yashri on this platform and now i request to take up the further deliberation over to you thank you so much sir first of all a warm welcome you all for session on intellectual property rights i am cs yashru dikshit practicing company secretary at ahmedabad 
Now, the first question arises in your mind. If you have any business idea or any new business product, so should I protect through registering a patent, copyright, trademark, industrial design, geographical indications? So there are so many questions arising related to all this. So in today's webinar, I will resolve all your doubts related to trademark, patent, copyright, geographical indication, and industrial design. The purpose of this webinar is to provide a general awareness on IPR and startup, various types of IPR and its provision. Intellectual property right is the oil of 21st century and 21st century have been called as a century of knowledge, technology, and regime of intellect. The term intellectual property right is related with the human brain which applied for any new invention and creation. As you all are known that intellectual property right is intangible in nature and which gives exclusive right to inventor and creator for their valuable invention and creation for a certain period of time. There are various types of intellectual property right such as trademark, patent, copyright, geographical indication, industrial design, and trade secrets. In recent AGM Annual General Meeting of Reliance Industry Limited, Shri Mukesh Ambani said that intellectual property right is, is going to be important pillar and valuable and value creation to the journey. So it is important to learn about IPR and how it is important in the business. The agenda of today's webinar is to discuss trademark, patent, copyright, industrial design, and geographical indication. The first and foremost question arises in your mind. What is intellectual property? Intellectual property is a new category of property. Here, the property is divided into two parts. The first one is industrial property and the second one is copyright. Industrial property which includes patent, trademark, design and geographical indication while copyright which includes any audio or video cassette, any literature, any artistic, any cinematographical films which includes under the copyright. Second one is intellectual property is handiwork of creative mind. Now the creativity which means thinking of new idea, idea such as any new invention, any introduction of new process, any formula, if you are writing any new book, audio or video cassette, any new name, device, new label, new signature which is new innovative and novel. It includes under the creativity. So the intellectual property is a handiwork of creativity of mind that is thinking of new idea and innovation. It takes the form of an inventive solution or a means to harness an opportunity or overcome a problem. As I said the invention so here, the invention and innovation both have a different terminology. If I can say invention, invention means creation of a product or a introduction of a process for the first time. An invention must be new, novel and unique. While innovation is significant contribution in existing product and yes, Innovation cannot be possible without invention. So the invention is a first and innovation is a second. So the innovation, if I can take one example of invention, that is product design or any new business model, which includes under invention. But the addition in manufacturing process, it includes under innovation. So both have a different terminology and both have a different pronunciation, invention and innovation. So before inventive, any new product or a process or a procedure, 
you have to check your product process or name must be inventive must be new or unique now what happens if you do not protect your invention or creation if you not protect your invention so there are higher chances that someone else might take trademark patent or copyright of your invention and creation of product second one the competitors will take advantage of your inventions there are chances that somebody else might take sell of transfer of technology somebody else take assignment on your invention somebody else take license on that the time efforts labor work will be the lost and the funders will be discouraged so if you have any new idea or new invention or creation of any product or a process so first you have to register either under the trademark patent copyright industrial design and geographical indications if you not register Ashri, yes uh, sorry to interrupt you but screen full is not clear full screen is not visible to anyone can you stop sharing and again you can share is it okay sir yes yes now perfect now the second one that is time efforts and the labor work will be the lost and the funders will be discouraged so there are higher chances that, that if you are not registering under the patent copyright or trademark someone else take your inventive product next one why intellectual property required and why it is necessary to protect intellectual property rights so the first one to protect your own creativity and invention as i said earlier if you not protect your invention somebody else take on trademark patent or copyright so first of all you have to protect your creativity and invention second one to get an economic return on funding invested in research and development in case of patent you get the economic and commercial benefit from the government because there are lots of money time and efforts will be indulged in this research and development so you get economic return after this product and process manufacturing to get your reward and recognition as it is a fruit of your hard labor effort and time you get reward and recognition of your new invention and creation of a product fourth one to own your invention and creative works fifth one as intellectual property right is intellectual assets and valuable asset in the organization so you can create important intellectual asset in the organization and your business you can sell assign or license to somebody else and to prevent someone from using your invention if you not registered your intellectual property right then you cannot prevent someone from using this invention you cannot infringe you cannot file infringement case against any person so first of all you protect your intellectual property rights on the registry now what is intellectual property right we discuss the intellectual property and now we discuss intellectual property right as we discuss intellectual property that is something new creativity or invention but the intellectual property rights are legally awarded ownership rights to the inventor here i mention the word legally awarded legally awarded that means registry will issue certificate of registration and you are the legal owner of that property provide them exclusive right here the term exclusive right which includes right to sell right to assign right to license 
any person. Third one, they give creator the right to prevent others from making unauthorized to use of their property for a limited period. Limited period that means in case of trademark, the time period is 10 years from the date of issuance of certificate of registration. So the tenure of trademark registration will be 10 years. In case of patent, the term of patent is 20 years from the date of making first application. In case of copyright, that is till the date, till the death of author plus 60 years. So the tenure will be the 60 years. So these are the limited period of time. So the intellectual property right, which gives legally right to the exclusive owner of inventor and creator, exclusive right to sell, assign, or license to any person. But yes, it's limited and specified period of time. Now the startup and IPR. Startups have been recognized as a powerhouse of innovation, technology, and ideas. The government of India has started the scheme for facilitating SIPP, that is Startups Intellectual Property Protection, for their valuable invention and creation and promotes awareness and encourage IPR, Intellectual Property Rights Protection, among all the startups. IPR, which give important reason behind any success of the Indian startup ecosystem and whatever the investment made in the technology will be get advantage, incubation center and others are always significant contribution in the business. Now here the question arise, what is startup? And which startup get benefit under this SIPP? So the startup means any private company, any partnership firm, or any limited liability partnership firm. Second, up to the seven years from the date of incorporation. And number third, the turnover not exceeded 25 crores. If they are covered in this criteria, they are called as a startup. So the startup will get so many benefits under this system. First benefit, Startup India benefits number first, fast tracking of patent, startup patent application. The patent application of startups fast track for examination and disposal. Second benefit is panel of facilitators to assist in filing of IP application. Here, the government of India provide facilitators to all in case of patent, trademark, copyright, industrial design, and geographical indication to provide the facilitators who want to register under the Startup India benefits and also provide information that how should protect in India as well as, as, well as outside of India. Number third, government to bear facilitation cost. Here, the government of India will bear all the facilitation cost, any number of patent, copyright, trademark, geographical indication. But yes, they have to pay statutory fees to the registry. And the last one benefit is rebate on filing of application. Here, they will get two rebate on filing of application. Number first, in case of patent, 80% rebate in filing of patent application or in case of trademark, 50% rebate in filing of trademark application. So the 80 and 50% benefit they will get. There are various types of intellectual property. Number first, trademark for a brand, logos, wordmark, tagline, and slogan, you can use trademark. Second one is patent. Patent is for any technical invention of any product or process for the first time. And it must be new, 
novel. Third one is copyright. Copyright is for any literary, any artistic, any dramatic, any cinematographical work includes under copyright. Number four, industrial design. For aesthetic design of industrial product, that is, shape of particular product can be registered under industrial design. Number five, geographical indication. That is, for specified place with their famous product. And last, trade secret. That is, confidential business information. If any company, they do not want to disclose their process in with the media or in public, so they can be filed trade secret of this particular process. Each type of protection and what it protects, trademark can be protected by identified then signs, symbols, pattern can be protected by their invention in the product. Copyright can be protected by the creative expression of creators and authors. Industrial design can be protected by the ornamental design or the shape and the configuration of a particular product. Geographical indication, source, protect. Identify the place, name with their famous product. Let's take example of GI, that is geographical indication. As you all are known that the gear are very famous for their Kesar mango. Darjeeling is famous for their tea. Mysore is famous for their silk. So they can file geographical indication because this product is famous for this state or place. Now let's take different example. Number first, Coca-Cola had taken different IPR in their one product. Number first, they had taken design for the particular shape of product. Second, they had taken pattern for the making process of making Coca-Cola. They had also taken trade secret because they do not want to disclose in the public how the Coca-Cola make and the procedure of making Coca-Cola. Number third, trademark. Trademark for their name, Coca-Cola. You can see in this picture. And number fourth, copyright. They had taken copyright for the advertisement of Coca-Cola. So here, they had taken five intellectual property rights only in their one product, that is Coca-Cola. Design, pattern, trade secret, trademark, and copyright. Second example, that is different IPR in iPhone 7. Same as Coca-Cola. iPhone 7 had taken different IPR. Number first, they had taken trademark for their particular name, iPhone 7. They had taken pattern for the process of making iPhone 7 or the inner processor. They had taken design for the particular layout of iPhone 7. Copyright for their advertisement and trade secret because they do not want to disclose the processor of the iPhone 7 to the public. So they had taken total five IPRs in their only one product, iPhone 7. Trademarks, pattern, design, copyright, and trade secret. Now the first type of intellectual property right is a trademark. In the simple terminology, trademark is a distinguish your goods and services with the other. Now you can see in this picture, there are different types of trademark is there. First one is the Android. Second one is iPhone. Third one, McDonald's, Windows 7, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Nike, Mickey Mouse, Superman. So there are so many trademark is there, but all the trademark are registered. And the trademark is important and signifies your product and logo. Next one, as I said earlier that the Coca-Cola had taken trademark for the particular name and the shape of making Coca-Cola. So they had taken trademark for the name as well as shape. Nike had taken trademark for the particular logo type that is right. So that is called logo. 
McDonald had taken trademark for the particular symbol. You can see in this picture M. M shows McDonald's. So the first word symbol they had registered under the trademark. Next one that is slogan. McDonald's slogan that is I am loving it. So this slogan is also registered. There are various slogans such as Subway slogan is eat fresh. Panasonic ideas for a life. iPhone think different. So this type of slogan you can register under the trademark. Color. Orange had taken trademark on that particular color orange. So you can see in this picture there are various types of trademark. You can take trademark either for any name. You can take trademark for the particular logo. You can take trademark for the particular symbol that is M. You can take trademark for the particular slogan. I am loving it. Either eat fresh, either think idea different. Just to do it. These are the various types of symbol. In, in fact, Nike had taken trademark on the particular slogan that is just to do it. So they had taken trademark again the logo type as well as slogan just to do it. And color that is for particular color of that product. Now what is trademark? So trademark is a distinguish your product and services with anyone else. And once it is acquired, the trademark can be last indefinitely as long as you renew it every 10 years. So the, the term of trademark is 10 years. You can renew after the 10 years for the further 10 years. So the renewal rights with the original author or owner. A trademark must do more than simply describe a feature or a characteristics of your product and services. So the trademark which shows your logo and the, your logo which shows the business product and your identity. There are various functions of trademark. Number first, identify the source of goods and services, which is easily identified in the market. Yes, this product has a registered trademark. So you can easily compare with any other product. Second one, assure consumers of uniform quality goods and services. So uniformity in your goods and services, uniqueness is there. So consumer buy your product. Number third, you can create your goodwill in the market and a brand which is recalled. You can easily distinguish your goods and services with the other brands. It's advertise your product because your brand is registered and it shows genuineness of the product because your quality is uniform. So it shows the genuineness of a product. So these are the various functions of trademark and you can get ample amount of advantages after registering under the trademark. Now there is a always confusion between TM and R. When I use TM and when I use to register. So there is always confusion in our mind. So the first one, trademark, may be designated by the following symbol. When can I use TM? TM which shows unregistered trademark that is a mark used to promote or a brand goods once you make application once you make application with the registry after that you can use tm before that you cannot use tm and yes your trademark which is approved by the registry and they will issue certificate of registration after you can use R that is registered. R symbol that is registered and TM which shows unregistered trademark. So that is vast difference between unregistered and registered trademark. SM. SM that is service mark for unregistered service mark. Service oriented establishment which may apply under the service mark. There are various service oriented establishment such as any cheat funds, any finance, any insurance company, any education institution, any real estate, any banking communication covered under the service mark. So that can apply under the service mark. But yes, unregistered service mark which shows SM 
and once they register they can use r who may apply for trademark any sole proprietorship firm apply for the trademark registration any partnership firm in which any one of partner can apply for trademark registration any company either private public listed unlisted entity can be apply any of their product for trademark registration any government any section 8 company and any education institution can apply for trademark registration there are various list of trademark classes class 1 to class 35 for goods and class 36 to class 45 for services so 1 to 34 for goods and 35 to 45 that is services so before making application with the registry you should check under the which class your trademark will be fall there are so many class are there either medicine stationery paper goods tobacco wines restaurant and foods and services legal services so there are so many class are there so you should check under which class your product should be fall what type of trademark can be registered so either word or combination of words letters numerals and perfectly constitute a trademark any device in fact any brand heading label any ticket name signature be can be registered under the trademark any word shape of particular goods packaging or a combination of colors or any combination thereof can be registered under the trademark so the words letters numerals name signature brands all this can be registered under the trademark now what can not be registered under the trademark number first non distinguish words or a symbol which can not distinguish with the other products and services cannot be registered under the trademark second one common in a use you cannot use any god name that is you cannot use any uh, god name like mahalakshmi saraswati this kind of words you cannot use under the trademark apart from this let's take one example if your company is registered under the footwear and the name of company is a pata p a t a but in the footwear class already bata b a t a is already registered under the bata right bata company registered under the footwear and your company name is a pata p a t a now think bata and pata pronunciation will be the related or the similar pata bata so you cannot register under the trademark because it will create confusion in mind understand create confusion in mind that's why you cannot register under the trademark a square can be trademark for any product or services but it can not be trademark for a product which is square in a shape so your product is a square in a shape and you applied for the square name so that cannot be possible trademarks that offends community or religious against any moral or public policy which cannot be registered under the trademark there are various types of trademark as we have seen the earlier the first one that is a word mark you can see in this picture google google had taken the word mark on the particular name that is google i know the different colors is there you can see in this picture but still you can register under the word mark second one that is a collective mark the collective mark which shows a mark which is adopted or the collective association or a group of a person can be registered under the collective mark members use the mark which identified their goods and services and distinguishes their goods and services with the others as lic any lic agent can use the lic symbol because he and she the agent of lic so they can use the lic symbol as i am i uh, member of institute of company secretary of india so i can use the cs symbol before my name as you all are the member of charter accountant so you can also use the ca words before your name so this is called the collective marks third one that is certification of mark that is for isi marks that is registered under the certification of mark 
fourth one that is service mark which is a service oriented establishment any communication any real estate this kind of register under the service mark next one that is new trademark and sound mark sound mark which protect a sound relation in a goods or a services which represent graphically series of musical notes with or without words can be registered under the sound mark let's take example the yahoo yodal registration in 2008 was the first instant first sound mark registered in india so this is the first sound mark they were registered in india in fact intel has also registered in the trademark sound mark register number 4 logo mark as already we had discussed that the nike had taken logo mark for the particular product three dimensional mark it's called as a 3d mark 3d mark the trademark constitution of the three dimensional product for any shape or combination thereof can be registered under the trademark and the last one that is a smell a smell mark smell mark for any perfumes of any particular fragrance of a particular product if uh, unique is there so you can register for the smell mark so this are the various types of trademark either you can register under the word mark you can register under the collective mark you can register under the certification mark service mark sound mark logo mark three dimensional mark and the smell mark and the one more is device mark you can also register under the device mark if the logo name are covered under the one picture can be registered under the device mark so these are the various types of the trademark now the trademark flow chart in india like the first one you have to take the free trademark search is available in this website ipindia.nic.in you should go there in their website and you should click in the trademark and just to check the search whether the available name is available or not in the specified class so the first you have to check if the name is available then you should make application either physically or either on online and once you make application with the registry they should allot the specified number once they have allot the number after you can use tm of your particular product and the application allotment after the examination and examination reports will be the dispatch either they have accepted or either they have objected if they accept it and so within a four period they make publication in the journal now in the journal if any person have any objection of your particular name of particular product so they can file opposition of your name now either you can register or either again the opposition should be filed by any person registration the registrar will issue the certificate of registration in case of the opposition file you should give answer why they have uh, issue this kind of opposition and first in the examination they have objected then show cause hearing will be the arise and the refuse either in this case the refuse or either you can withdraw your application you can also file this case under the intellectual property affiliate board so this is the basic procedure of filing application it will take time from the 6 months to the 9 month if they have accepted then within a 7 month you can register your trademark if they are not ex accepting your application then it will take 1 to 2 year for registering your trademark there are various advantages of trademark registration you can create brand awareness in the market you can easily attract to the customer because your brand is registered you can create goodwill in the market you can build your brand image in the market as i said that is intellectual property is the intangible assets in the company so you can develop the ip and important business asset legal ownership of a business brand the product quality which shows important brand of your product protection as i said the 10 years at very low cost you can register either in india or outside of india but the pro both the procedure will be different so you can also protect outside of india and easily attract human resource so this is basis of the trademark basic knowledge of the trademark 
in which terms you can apply for the trademark either name device logo this can be applied under the trademark and the time period is a 10 years at a very low cost and you can get various advantage for this registration now moving forward second type of intellectual property right is a patent so the patent is also the important type of the intellectual property right a patent is a grant of a protection of a particular invention and why a patent is necessary for any country it encourage any research and development in case in your mind if you have any unique invention of any product so you can take patent on that it encourage technological development and encourage establishment of any new industry and you can get commercial benefit once you register with the registry if we can see the patent history in india it's 1856 to 2050 indian patent act is applicable only in india and the grant of patent is governed by the patent act 1970 to 1972 the purpose of taking patent is to encourage all the researcher to register this patent and inventive genuineness of their product and invention to secure the inventors for awards for inventing to procreate the monopoly in the market to create flow of invention and to enjoy exclusive right of the invention exclusive right already i said another intellectual property rights what is ipr exclusive right exclusive right that means right to sell right to assign and right to license to ensure the commercial return to the investor for the time and money spent in the generating a new product in the simple word patent patent is an exclusive right which is granted to the inventor not any person granted by the state for an invention to the inventor whenever you make application of the patent you should disclose that the word should be protected under this application so the non disclosure form as well as your protection must be mentioned under the patent it gives exclusive right to the owner and the time period is a 20 years in case of patent renewal right is not given to the inventor or creator here the term is only 20 years after that you have to register again not renew fresh application file by the inventor and the unity of invention that is one invention in one pattern for one invention you cannot file two pattern you cannot file patent in design you cannot file patent in a plant pattern so the one invention in one pattern is available next one that is what can be patented so before making application of patent you should check that your invention must be novel it should be new original and unusual that is it should be different from all other previous inventions in some important way which is not disclosed in prior art here the prior art which includes any published presented or any disclose in the public media that is anything or everything which is available in public it's not called as a novel work so the patent application or the whatever you made any new invention is a must be the novel second one that is useful to the new industry and the third one that is non obvious that is surprising development significant development the process so it's a non obvious to the person skill in the art now you can see in the picture there are different type of pattern but yes all are the new invented as a tablet you all are know the tablet is again inventive or new invention of product x-ray machine and the earlier telephone which is again new type of version so that is registered under the patent now what cannot be patented the first one that is fabulous invention Fibulous invention that is against any natural law cannot be protected under the patent. Second, which is against the public order and morality cannot be registered under the patent. 
Let's take one example of the public order and morality. If any person invented any method of gambling, cannot be registered under the patent because gambling is not allowed. And if you invented any process or a method which cannot be registered under the patent, second one, any method of producing mushroom plants cannot be registered under the patent. So you cannot take a procedure and methods part or take the patent on and that that cannot be possible. Invention which is related to atomic energy cannot be registered under the patent. Any invention for scientific principle or formulation cannot be registered under the patent. Any plants, animals and naturally occurring microorganism cannot be registered under the patent. So this kind of uh, product is there is in case of fibulous against atomic energy, public policy cannot be registered under the patent. Now who can make application of patent? First inventor of invention can make application of patent. If inventor assign this work to any person, then assignee can make application on behalf of that inventor or legal representative of deceased person can be make application of patent. There are various types of patent. Number first, that is utility patent. Number second, that is design pattern. And number third, that is plan pattern. Utility pattern, which covers any process or composition of a matters, machines, and manufacturers that are new and useful, which can be registered under the utility pattern. The term of utility pattern is a 20 years from the date of making first application. Second one, that is design pattern. Design pattern is basically ornamentation of something that is already exits and no change in the functionality of the object can be registered under the design pattern. And the term is a 14 years from the date of making application and the plant pattern on the plant that may be reproduced by the grafts and cutting can be registered under the plant pattern. Where to apply? Patent in each country is a pattern granted in one country and forcible in other country. If you register your patent in India, that doesn't mean if you make application in USA and they will grant your patent. So they will approve your patent that cannot be possible. In reverse situation, in USA, if they are allowing or accepting your patent, the USA allowed to accept your application but in India there are chances if you make application in India they will reject your application. So no there is nothing like that the global patent or a world patent rights are essentially territorial in nature. So if you register in India you can protect in India if you register in USA or UA you should protect that. And one country doesn't mean that it will be terminate in all the country. So this is the second type of intellectual property right. First, we have seen the trademark. Second, we have seen the pattern. And now the third one that is a copyright. And copyright is important for any artistic or any literature, any dramatic work, any musical, in a cinematographical work can be covered under the copyright. So this is important. Copyright is the term of copyright was originally concerned with field of literature and the arts. So copyright is important and the term period is different from all the types. The Copyright Act, which is 1957, which has been amended in 1983, 1984 till the 2012. The main object of copyright law is to encourage author or creator or composer or artistic to create original work, not any duplicate or not any modification of previous work by granting them exclusive right to make copies and sell them number of years till the death plus 60 years. So here again the exclusive right given to the author, creator, composers and artistic. Copyright is a right given by the law to creator of any literary, any dramatic, any musical, 
any artistic work and producers of cinematographical films, sound recordings for a limited period of time. Cinematographical films, all the Bollywood and Hollywood films can be already registered and they have taken copyright for that particular film. Copyright protection, the work must be original. This is the prior condition. If you make any application under the copyright, you should check that your work must be original. If your work is a modification of any work or if you are copying from some other place and you can make application, then are higher chances that you should not register under the copyright. So the work must be original. The work must be fixed or presented in a tangible form such as writing, film or photography and created by qualified person, that is creator or inventor can apply for copyright registration. Copyright protected works and the types of various copyright is that the first one that is artistic, second one that is literary, musical and dramatic. Artistic which includes any illustration, sculptures, cartoons, even photograph can be uh, applied under the copyright any drawing, map, diagram. Now, any model of a new building can be registered under the copyright. You cannot make application under the pattern. You should make application under the copyright if you have any new uh, model of building, any model of any flat that can be registered under the copyright. Diagrams can be registered under the copyright. Second one, that is literary work. If you are writing any novel or any book, or any research paper or any article, you can apply for the copyright. Any short stories, general poem, single re, uh, song lyrics, instruction, computer software can be registered under the copyright. Website name can be registered under the trademark, but the whole website can be registered under the copyright. Musical, melody, sheet music, pop songs, film scores, any plays, screen films, uh, choreography can be registered under the copyright. All the Bollywood and Hollywood uh, movies, DVDs are registered under the copyright. Online videos, films, YouTube, iTunes, Netflix can be registered for the copyright. And any podcast, audiobooks registered under the copyright. So these are the various types of copyright. Literary, arti artistic, dramatic, cinematographical, film, sound recording, and broadcast. This all are registered under the copyright. Now the various work have a different author of the work. The first one, that is musical work, which is covered under the composer. Cinematographical film and the sound recording for the producer. Photograph, the person who taking the photograph is called the photographer. Artistic work, other than photograph, it's called the artistic, literary, dramatic, musical or artistic work, which can be computer generated. The person who create this work is called as an author. As I said, the different work have a different term of copyright. Literary, musical or artistic work protected by the lifetime of author plus 60 years after the death. Work which is published unanimously can be protected 60 years after the year in which work is first published. Identity of author disclosed before the expiry of the said period, then again 60 years till the author which dies. Photographs, any cinematographical films, any sound recording government work, 60 years after the year of publication can be protected for copyright. So these are the different terms of that. Now the important question arises, infringement of copyright. If someone else using your work without taking prior permission of creator or the author of this work, then what are the consequences? Can owner should file infringement case to the any person? Then the answer is yes. Owner original owner and the inventor can file infringement case to any other person who use this work without prior permission. 
so it's called infringement of copyright in case of literary dramatic musical and artistic work if any person reproduce this work without taking prior permission of owner and creator then owner and creator can file infringement case to any other person but yes here there is two exception in this case number first if any person using this work for fair dealing now the terminology of fair dealing that means if any person using his or her work for the private or personal use for their particular research cannot be termed as a infringement second one reporting of current events and the current affairs of the company or delivering this topic in the public media cannot be termed as infringement number third non commercial personal use cannot be termed as a infringement and the second exception is this the term period as i discussed the earlier is a 60 years so if any person is using after the death plus 60 years that cannot be termed as a infringement because a tenure will be completed 60 years so any person can use this work without prior permission of owner and creator second point cinematographical films a copy of the film sound recording any other sound recording embodying the same sound recording programs performance with the broadcasting reproduction or the performance rights subsist the sound recording or the cinematographical film of such program or a performance so this can be the infringement case so if you are registering your patent so you should get this benefit but if you are not registering under the uh, copyright you get not file infringement case to any other person now the fourth type of intellectual property right is the industrial design till now we have discussed trademark patent and copyright and now we will discuss industrial design that is the shape of particular product industrial design plays important role in trading of the consumer goods or a services in today's industrial design has become an integral part of consumer culture industrial design which includes feature of shape configuration pattern ornaments composition of lines colors combination of thereof can be included under the industrial design now what is industrial design in simple language industrial design the protect to the ideas of the designing community and any new or original idea applied to an article whose pattern shape or configuration makes an appeal to the eye forms an industrial design which can be protected under the industrial design as governed by the design act of 2000 design that is the shape of particular product is ipr which focus and the design is basically focus on the aesthetic feature of the article which derive from a visual appearance you can see in this picture that the different shape of car different color combination is there of and the shape is something which is unique or a new or appealing to the eye can be registered under the industrial design you can see the shape configuration pattern color combination three car is there but the all the three car have a different colors or line so this can be registered under the industrial design or a combination of thereof as applied to an article which produces as an aesthetic impression on the sense of sight you can see in this picture different type of design either cupboard in cushion in various ornaments in purse in chappal you can see in this picture but different shape is there different colors they can use in this uh, product 
So if you have a design which is attracting or you can file for the uh, industrial design, you can see the chair, the both the chair have a different and the uniqueness is there. So the shape and the design of chair both have a different. So you can make application for industrial design. Third one picture is for bicycle. You can see the shape and the uh, shape of the bicycle is something which is unique and different. So you can register under the industrial design. The fourth one is a car, which can also the unique and the shape of design is something which is different. So you can register under the industrial design. So these are the examples of industrial design. So if you have any uniqueness in the product, uniqueness in the design, you can apply for industrial design. Again, you can see in this picture, the Apple shop uh, may qualify for the patent and design for the glass staircase. Glass staircase, you can see the design is something which is unique and why they had taken patent because there is a new invention in the glass staircase. So they had taken pattern as well as design for the particular shape of the glass staircase. So we had already discussed earlier, one product you can take multiple intellectual property rights. So in Apple shop, they had taken patent as well as design for their particular glass staircase. Now, registrable of design. If you want to registration under the design or industrial design, you should check that the, your design must be new or original because there are higher chances of the piracy of design. So you should check your design must be new and original. Distinguish from the all the known design and the shape of design must be unique. Be applied to the article. Article, that means any product not be disclosed to the public because as I discussed in the pattern that is prior art. Prior art that is not disclosed anywhere else. Appeal to the eye, appeal to eye that is something unique. You can see in this all the three pictures. Appeal to eye that is uniqueness is there or something creativity is there so which appeal to the eye not comprised of options and matter and not against any public order and morality. Benefit of registration is exclusively right. As I said, all the intellectual property right, you can get exclusively right, you can assign, you can license to any other person. Better protection and can show for piracy of design. If someone is using your design without prior permission of inventor, then you can apply for the piracy design in copyright, you can apply for infringement. In industrial design, you can apply for the piracy of design. Licensing of design as a legal property for the consideration of royalty. So you can license to somebody else. You can license to some other person. Here you can get money on that. So this is the industrial design. We had seen till now trademark, copyright, patent and industrial design. Moving forward, we will discuss geographical indication and the trade secret, which is last part of intellectual property right. The geographical indication is uh, used on goods that have a specific geographical origin and possess any quality, any characteristics, any reputation that are essentially attribute to the place of origin it's called a geographical indication it also called the gi gi can be protected accordance with the international treaty and the national laws now the basic question what is geographical indication as i said famous product for the famous town or a famous country we had already seen various example that is gir is famous for kesar mango Bikaner is famous for their bujia. So this kind of product can be registered. The use of geographical indication may act as a certification that the product possess certain quality, characteristic and reputation in the market. And according to the traditional methods to enjoy certain reputation due to its geographical origin. 
who are the entitled for registration so a uh, law presenting the interest of the producers any association that is a group of person can be registered under the copyright any producers any organization who produce this kind of goods can be registered under the geographical indication the time period or the duration of protection of geographical indication is the 10 years from the date of filing and it can be renewed after the completion of 10 years for the further 10 years so the term of 10 years for the protection of geographical indication now what can be geographical indication geographical indication it covers any agriculture product any food stuff any wine spirit drink handicraft work any clothing work or industrial product which all include under the geographical indication let's discuss some well known geographical indication in india the first one that is tejpur famous for the lychee assam uh, as i said the gir kesar mango is famous in gir kangara tea is famous for in kangara malabar pepper nagpur is famous for their orange nasik is famous for their green grapes madhubani painting surat is famous for their zawi craft Kashmiri is famous for their Pashima silk in the sari, Chanderi fabric, Bansri sari, Sangeri hand block. So these are the famous in their particular city because these are famous product on their particular city. So they can apply it in geographical indication so that no one can use their product without prior permission of their association of their producers. Nature of geographical indication, like uh, all the intellectual property right, is uh, already you know that the intangible in assets is uh, identifiable non-monetary resource which create a legal claim to future benefits to the special right and privilege to it. Geographical indication may not be sold, transferred, licensed, rented or exchanged because since they are the collective or the certification mark or the control by the state. And the trademark, patent, copyright, or industrial design, we had seen that all are the license and assigned to somebody else, but the geographical indication which cannot be licensed to someone else. The useful life of this asset is indefinite, and once it is protected, the production of geographical indication label the products is always geographical confined to the region, locality, or territory that provide the goods with the special attributes. And the last one and the important one, type of intellectual property right is a trade secret. A trade secret is a, any kind of information that is secret or generally not known in the public and the relevant industry which give the owner an advantage over the competition. Trade secret which includes any formulas, any pattern, any methods, any techniques, any process, which all should cover under the trade secrets. And a trade secrets can be protected without disclosure of secrets. A trade secrets might be patentable, but the ideas must not always. So the trade secret is a confidential business information and the owner of that uh, product that cannot, they do not want to disclose this information in India so they can take trade secrets. We have seen in our two example, iPhone 7 and Coca-Cola, both the product have taken patent as well trade secret on that product because they do not want to disclose in the media. It may include either recipes, either formula, special process, devices, methods, any techniques, business plan, research and development information, all are included in trade secrets. So if you have any formula or a process that you do not want to disclose in a public, that so you should take trade secret on the particular process or method of that product. Trade secret is basically for any financial information or any scientific information or any commercial information and technical information 
covered under the trade secrets so if you have any financial information like you do not want to disclose about the salary of employee you can take that scientific principles you can apply commercial information that is any process of making of any product any technical information is that so you should take trade secret of your particular product so these are the various types of intellectual property right first one we had seen the trademark patent after that copyright industrial design geographical indication and trade secret and the different intellectual property right and the different trademark copyright patent they have also the various classes under the same class so first of all you have to decide under the which ipr you should take the protection and particular trademark there are various types so again you should select either name either word either device so you should select that and the last one point that i want to discuss with you uh, because many of time people ask that the can ideas that is any business ideas can be protected this is the basic question in all the audience so though my answer is business ideas cannot be protected and business ideas cannot be patented and there is no effective way to protect an idea with the any form of the intellectual property protection because the copyright can be protected by the expression and creativity not any innovation and patent we have seen the patent you should have the innovation or the invention in the product so the ideas cannot be protected so the inventors need to think inventors need to think about their invention and the invention if that is an invention in their idea then the invention can be protected by registering a patent so the business idea can not be protected but if there is a invention in in that invention that is your invention is a particular new novel or not disclosed in prior art not disclosed in a public after that you can register under this patent so the technical uh, technological advancement made the job of the creator very easy but it is also made the job of the copier easy so whatever you made or whatever in your mind either you have a uniqueness in a name or a label or a signature or an invention of anything but the your idea is a new not copy from the others if you are copying from the others then you should not protect under the any intellectual property rights so the create yourself rather than using other creation and invention for your product so that's it from my side and if you have any question so you may ask thank you yashri uh, wonderful deliberation as of now but there are so many queries so i request yashri to take uh, to take further okay sir so oh, yashri mute hai aapka hanji So, Fax Isha, a query here. What is the difference between trade name, trademark, and brand name? Uh, they want this explanation with an example. Okay, the first one is trade name, brand name, and trademark. Okay, there is uh, there is no difference between the trademark and trade name. Trademark is basically the distinguished your product and services with the others. trade name means that is your business name i give example of the google the google had taken the name a uh, name on the, the trademark that is word mark that is trade name because they are trading as a google so that is trade name and brand why the brand name brand name means google is a famous and all of our known that the google is uh, about this particular so this is the brand name so there is no distinguish between all that and trademark is a basically one of the types of intellectual property rights right so moving on to our next question 
if validity of a trademark expires and the owner does not renew the license for a year then is it possible for others for application of trademark yes he can make application under the trademark because as i say the trademark tenure is a 10 years and it is the responsibility of the owner that he should a re revised file it should make the revised file application of the trademark before the completion of the 10 years okay so if you not make application within the after the completion of 10 years then the other person may make uh, register that trademark under this trademark okay uh, next question is can a society apply for trademarks and if society okay okay yeah. please continue can you please repeat ha can a society apply for trademark and if society is allowed a rebate of 50% what will be the documents required to get registration of trademark trade name and logo okay uh, the society can be registered under the trademark if they have logo name in a one picture then they can make device application but as i say the startup india i will mention the condition in the startup india startup india only includes a private company llp and any partnership firm they have not they are not turnover not exceeded 25 crores and 7 years till the incorporation so here the society is not included in the startup criteria so they will not get rebate on that okay so first of all clear that the no rebate in the society and the documentation that is first of if the society is registering under the society act so put this documentation a uh, document aapko dena hai apart from this the logo and make application under tm1 or affidavit okay uh, next question is difference between collective mark and geographical indications okay difference between the collective mark so collective mark that i said various example is given icsi icii we are already using lic agent that i already given exam that is particular group of person which are using this mark can be registered under the collective mark but the geographical indication with shows the specified place with their famous product like the gir i have give the example of the gir that is famous for the kesar mango but they are not they are using the kesar mango for the particular product so now this is different you can see this is the collective mark lic agent can use the lic symbol uh, here is a famous kesar mango so no one is using their kesar mango on their product right uh, moving on to the next question in case a pulses trader has a registered trademark but he wants to market pulses without brand name just mentioning packed and marketed by xyz will it make him eligible to avail gst exemption i will not get the question i repeat it for you in case a pulses trader has a registered trademark but he wants to market pulses without a brand name just mentioning packed and marketed by so and so will it make him eligible to avail gst exemption not that kind of benefit is not provided Sumit sir, are you adding something onto it? Just checking whether uh, brand name is not necessary for the purpose of any GST yes, exemption or not. Yes. Yeah. That's and there is no relevance of the trademark registration and GST registration. GST registration. Both right. uh, have a different terminal. Okay. Right. So, uh, next is difference between logo mark and device mark. Okay. Give some more examples to clarify. Okay. Just a minute. Should I show my PPT? Yeah, or, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Okay. So you can see in this picture, this is the logo mark, right? The logo mark that is a right. This can a logo mark can be applied by the Nike. so this is the logo mark now in device application device application they should use logo plus their name plus slogan 
so the nike if the nike had mentioned the nike above in the right and the mention the below the nike symbol that is just do it nike plus right plus just do it which uh, known as the device mark ji uh, next so yes. that is right so that is a difference for device mark yes okay so next question is checked logos were not registered in other name prior to our application for registration under different classes then why later on objection arisen stating it's already registered in other classes by someone else why does this happen so for as i said first of all you have to check ip or india.ac.in whether how you should check you should mention the name and name you should get the logo agar wo logo registered hai already to aapko wahan pe dikh jayega if the logo is register then you should not make application to the registry i think they they are like they are pretty sure that when they apply so they at that time they did not have the logo any other logo similar logo but after applying they got uh, some rejection object. in that but yeah. the rejection in logo or the logo is similar with the other marks they have not mentioned they just mentioned the objection arising okay because if the logo is already applied by the other person in registered and the logo is both the logo is similar now you cannot apply it for that all right so moving on to the next question we are service provider and using trademark instead of service mark on our logo timeline trade name please advise should we have to use service mark if you have to inform now to any authority before using service mark instead of a trademark can you please put in this message yes. for this uh, yes yes i put it in okay. chat box we are service provider and using trademark instead of sm on our logo timeline uh, timeline trade name please advise should we have the sm but the service provider you are the service provider but in which i have mentioned the service mark which is only for the telecommunication real estate sector communication education institutes this are included in service mark if you are not covered under this then you can apply under the trade mark so you should check you should cover under this service mark examples telecommunication real estate if you are not covered under that then you are uh, Cover under the trademark application. Not SM is not applied under that. Okay, uh, so moving on to the next question. We are uh, partnership firm. Ji, 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 ji,
at that time they can uh, apply for the trademark okay so uh, uh, next question is uh, branded cereals and pulses are liable to 5% gst and unbranded cereals and pulses are gst exempt oh. I think uh, this, is Ojishri, Ojishri, this is not uh, related to IPR. Uh, ha, just yes. last question you can. Uh, take yes, which the, is related uh, to IPR. Uh, not right, right. Way. Definitely, this is not related to. Uh, I put a uh, round chat box. Me last question. Yes, question related to geographical indication. Uh, yeah. For GI, if I uh, put chat box, me dala Ojishri. I didn't get sir. Just a minute. Okay. Put it in the chat box one second. Yes, yes. For geographical indications, that question. Okay, okay. For geographical indication, if association of persons should require to be registered under any law. And uh, if association of persons should have a PAN or other document registration of uh, GI, uh, geographical indication. Uh, should have the PAN number and the association of person must have uh, any document, legal document that they are associated with their name or the document that is deed must be required for that person after they can apply. Okay, I think... Uh, mm, this is all, uh, Yusri. Yes. So, now we are going to conclude today's session. So first of all, uh, Yashri, thank you very much for joining this uh, wonderful topic and uh, telling us in detail about the IPR and the startup benefits in this particular area. So with this, uh, I would like to thanks with core of my heart. I request Yashri to conclude with final vote of thanks. Ji, Sumit, sir. Thank you, Yashri, ma'am, for joining us today. Uh, on the CASA platform and uh, apprising of with the uh, IPR and laws and uh, provisions, everything, procedures related to it. Uh, I hope our viewers are very happy with this session and I can see a few comments which they have mentioned very well explained. So, uh, we thank you again on behalf of our viewers, team CASA and uh, thank you, Sumit sir. We'll be winding up this session for thank today. You. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Thank you Thank all you. the audience and the Ojashvi ma'am and Sumit sir for giving opportunity in their valuable platform. Thank you. Uh, Ojashvi, you can